Hey, aloha my internet family, how are you? Welcome back to Practical Printing. So as many of you know, I have been doing an upgrade on Ozzy. Uh, that's this beast here that started off life as a GMAX 1.0 right after their Kickstarter years ago and has um, evolved through many, many iterations since. Um, the upgrades are going slow, but I thought I would just give you a quick tour of exactly what I'm doing to it and where it's headed. So let me just flip this around and I'll show you. Okay, so there's the wide angle shot of Ozzy. And let me uh, zoom in and show you the upgrades and what we're doing here. So one of the big ones here is this new cart that we have designed here that's going to use a Titan extruder. I have the B3i Pico Hybrid on here and the new BL Touch Smart on the side here. Now the cart, it's difficult to see, but the cart is modular. So there's actually magnets in here between these two pieces. And then there's four screws that hold this front piece on. Technically the magnets are strong enough to hold this front piece on. The, uh, the four screws are just kind of to lock it down. Um, but it allows it to theoretically interchange the tools when I decide uh, if I want to go back and play with a volcano hot end or, or something else on here, it'll make it really easy to interchange that out. Um, so deviating from, again, where this used to be a, a GMAX uh, 1.0 and then was converted to the, the 1.5 with the vertical risers here, um, using an experimental implementation that GCreate had put out that changes the axis here um, from where the motor had originally sat back here and had the belt going in a horizontal direction, this puts it in a, a sideways vertical direction so that it'll tie in to through those holes on either side. Now one of the parts I'm waiting for here is a pulley for here. Um, 3D printed one for sizing, but I don't want to use it because I don't like if that zooms in. I don't like the way it prints with a 45 degree angle inside there and it concerns me for the bed to slip out. So those are the major upgrades that are going down this time. It's just that x-axis and the, uh, or the z-axis and the x-axis conversion. Um, other modifications that have gone on this just to show you is the bed system here is completely of my own design. I'm using these really heavy duty uh, 10 millimeter linear rods underneath here to give it a lot of support and to keep it from dive bombing there's you can see my hand it's very rigid so it doesn't tilt at all like some of the earlier G Maxes did the base down here is six millimeter uh, phenolic underneath and then I have um, two six millimeter layers of cork, or basically a half inch of cork, underneath the uh, the tempered glass bed. And then of course we have the Jank 3D dual zone heat bed here. Now this is DC driven. Um, so it is driven by a DC power supply and it's controlled by the, the printer controller. Um, it has an inner zone and then it has an outer perimeter zone. Uh, so if you're only doing a small print, it'll heat faster and you only use the, the center. The outside is done separately. Other upgrades that haven't been printed for this but are coming um, is the, the electronics are going to be replaced and it's going to get a 3.2 inch touch screen here and it's going to get a smoothie board, um, smoothie board conversion so it'll have a 32 bit processor. This was also another upgrade that we had designed for the GMAX platform. It is a uh, variable tensioner for that Y. Now this would work with any of the GMAXs that use the belt down there. There's a, a spring inside and a knob that you can use to, to tension uh, the belt up so as it stretches you can just give it a couple of turns. All right, so that's it. So um, look forward to seeing this thing finished, and um, we'll show you the completed uh, prints from it once it gets done. And uh, we'll see you next time on Practical Printing. Aloha.